Right here is the Hungarian Academy of Sciences, one of, if not the most, important academic center in Hungary, as well as throughout much of Central Europe. Essentially, it is dedicated to the academia and the growth of innovation and educational prosperity of the nation, and is the central educational hub of the city of Budapest and, obviously, of Hungary. It was first consecrated and established in the 1820s originally, and officially completed throughout the 1850s and 1870s by a man by the name of Istvan Szenyi, who was a prominent minister of public works here in, during the Austro-Hungarian Empire age, who really rebuilt much of the city in general, including creating the chain bridge, much of the plazas and neo-Gothic and neo-Renaissance style of Hungary and Budapest, and many more infrastructural and academic innovations throughout the region. Essentially, he ended up creating this, obviously, as a dedication to the growth of sciences, academics, mathematics, and many more forms of liberal arts, and the prosperity of the nation, and the growth of its general thought and uh, mindset when it came to actually solving problems. And he constructed this as a way to commemorate that in the neo-Renaissance style, another rarity here in Budapest to show the growth of the Enlightenment and the growth of rebirth of ancient Greek and Roman thinking as well as the culture of thinking in Budapest itself. As a matter of fact, many prominent academics have actually worked here, such as Albert Einstein, when he briefly lived in Budapest and Vienna as a citizen of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, where he created much of his general theories of general relativity and special relativity to explain essentially how time and space work with accords to human perception and how travel and, and gravity essentially master and indicate the way that the universe works, the way that space-time operates, as well as the fact that many other mathematicians and geniuses have worked here, including Paul von Neumann, a famous mathematician known for his eccentric style of all his growth and innovation towards the sciences. Um, Paul Erdos, another famous one who is a member of this academy, and other ones who actually grew much of the idea of general mathematics, general sciences, and a growth of Hungarian academia. Furthermore, the current president of the academy is actually known for creating the theory of carbonetics, which essentially maps how different forms of uh, polygons and shapes traveled in a specific medium, essentially being the mathematical equivalent to understanding how traffic works and how general organizational theory works. This academy is definitely a huge part of Budapest culture.